Hi everyone, welcome back to my channel, Andrea's Attic. Just a quick disclaimer, this is an adult channel um, and the videos on this channel are not intended for or made for children in any way, shape or form. So today we're doing another first impressions video. And as you can see, this time it is the 120 set of the premium soft touch coloured pencils from Castle Art. So this is going to be a two part video. Uh, the first part will be unboxing them and swatching them. And then the second part will be seeing how they colour on the Colour in Heaven colouring book paper because I find that is the best paper to use. Um, for demonstration purposes because then each pencil or medium gets a fair shout on the same kind of paper it's not, we're not changing papers and that way it's a fair you know it's, it's like you can't demonstrate something on a really good quality paper such as Johanna Bassford's and then use a cheaper pencil and use a cheaper paper so I use the Colour in Heaven pack books to be consistent in paper quality so as you can see the 120 come in this lovely tin something's rolling around in there turn them over and you've got the colours on the back there so we will be swatching these so as you can see I haven't even taken the plastic off so let's uh, see if we can get that off have I got something I can uh, chop it with I'd probably get in there with my nails actually yeah there we go so here we go let's pop that in the bin which is right here because there's lots of pencil shavings in it I'm not one of the people who keep my pencil shavings I guess why people do but not me so again it's a lovely tin I probably will buy a pencil case for them at some point but they are in a nice strong tin the tin is attached as such um, and inside again we've got the 120 colors on the inside here a little bit about castle arts we've got the information on the universal color system which is a little booklet it shows you all the different products that you can get so the color pencils which we've got the watercolor pencils which we've got they have watercolor paints oil paints acrylic paints fabric paints sketchbooks oh they've got a hundred gel pens we'll have to try those and so on and then on the inside here we have castle arts universal color system which i believe is going to be the 120 or more colors and it tells you next them underneath them which ones they come in so for instance circle for colored pencils squares for uh, watercolors triangles for oil paints tubes and watercolor paint tubes um and then various other ones so there's a good selection of each color yellows oranges reds pinks blues greens and there's even three black mars black lamp black and ivory black now that's unusual the only other color system i know that's got more than one black in it is the black widows Ooh. then you've got a tutorial um, basically this is a colored pencil tutorial and it's about drawing and it's drawing the castle that is actually on the cover so we won't be doing that because I am hopeless at drawing but it'll be handy so let's take a look at one of the, the pencils pens I can't even say it so I picked up this one so as you see it's a round barrel nice were the watercolors round or were they were, were they hexagonal I've got them here they're hexagonal so these are a round barrel which is nice they're very lightweight lovely Again, it's got the color at the end and it does say on it castle arts soft touch and then on the other side we've got heather purple number 37 so that's that so these are colors at the very end we've got number one which is lemon yellow light primrose yellow golden yellow oh we're going to enjoy swatching these ones later and then to the fleshes they look quite nice again they're the same as in the watercolors flesh flesh deep flesh light but of course we've got a bigger selection of colors now this is why i don't like this because you have to get your hands in like that and lift them up and they bend and that happens which is why we will eventually get a pencil case whereas with the obviously the more expensive polychromos is there a little string on it so there's the second layer which is 
blues through to more we got green gold we've got yellow ochre lovely set look at these greens look at how many greens there are there that is beautiful and there's another one here which is like a green gold it's called beautiful and there's another light there and there's another flesh one here which is a, called cadmium orange light but that looks quite fleshy to me beautiful oh they just feel so nice when they're new like this um there's one of the ivory black there and they're all numbered and i believe they're all in the right order 73 74 i will check that before i do it because i noticed that the watercolors weren't in the all in the same right order so i'm going to try and take it out so we can see the third set third layer of pencils are here and this is again more pinks more blues and more greens some browns greys there's plenty of those the range of colors i'm very impressed with the range of colors actually in this brand um i like the fact it comes in a tin so i'm going to get my swatch book and we'll start swatching them and we'll see how they go i won't write down the number well i might do i'll see how it goes but because uh, we're not watercolour, we're not having to activate it. I am very, oh, you know when you just want to touch the pencils? Let's smell them. I like the smell in the, uh, the watercolours. It just smells, just smells nice. <laughs> it, it smells very nice. That's titanium. And there's another peach, peachy colour here that could be a flesh. That was cadmium orange, wasn't it? That's right. So, and some lovely, lovely colours. So I'm looking forward to swatching these. Let's crack on and we'll get swatching them. Okay, so we're going to start swatching out the Castle Arts 120 now. I've already, um, excuse me, that's just me taking my slippers off, um, written the first 24 titles down on the page just because uh, it, Last time I didn't do it with the watercolours and when I came to write them in afterwards I made a mistake so I thought I'd look let me do it before we start. Um, I haven't coloured with them yet I'm really looking forward to this I'm dying to get my hands on them and have a go. Um, so yeah let's have a look. So the first colour is 001 and it's lemon yellow light. Now these round barrels as you can see, let me just zoom out again so you can remember. There's not much of a, a point on them. And I've got to be honest, I like a sharp point when I'm colouring. But for this video, I'm not going to bother um, sharpening the pencils. I'm just going to put a very light layer of yellow down. Now, I have heard that some people have said these can be quite scratchy pencils, so I am looking forward to seeing what I think. I usually find um, when pencils are scratchy, it tends to be the pinks and purples, and maybe it's because uh, pink and purple, well, purple specifically, is a bit more... I'm going to have to put a bit of a point on this one. It's not enough of a point. Um, a bit more expensive pigment in in especially in purples so maybe that's it that's better that'll do so at the moment it's going down fine it's not scratchy i mean it, this is such a light color it's very hard to see but i'm just putting layers and layers of it down so we can see it looks a lot it looks nice on camera actually it looks very nice so in part one of this video, which is what we're on now, I'm going to swatch them all. And then I'll do a part two where I start colouring a picture, much like I did with the watercolours. Um, and I know what picture I'm going to do. I've got it all picked out already. So that's uh, the first colour. That's lemon yellow light. Next one is primrose yellow. And this looks extremely light as well. This one's actually got a better... So there's some very light colours, some light yellows, which is nice because usually you get very bright. There's a bit of colour in there that shouldn't be in there by the look of it, but that's fine. Let's come off it now. They're very nice to hold. Nice round barrels. The only thing is with these is there are no open stock at the moment. You could say whether you can't get Black Widow's open stock. You can if you email Albert at MediHealth. 
um, and hopefully one day they will put these out open stock as well even if you have to go directly to Castle Arts so it's very nice nice color like I said it, they layer nicely from what I can tell but obviously we'll find out better when we actually color a picture with them later so that one so, so so far the the yellows are very nice the next one is called golden yellow but this is even lighter again i would and according to this end piece now the end piece doesn't really match the nib color so i'm going to say it's going to be different and yes it's slightly uh, that's the problem with dipped pencils um you can't always tell the exact colour by the, the dipped head and it is good though because it gives you an idea but that's why we swatch them and boy do we like swatching our pencils I know I do I love swatching pencils it's almost as much fun as actually colouring but I am looking forward to using these on a, a picture now you can get this set in the pencil case they didn't have it when I looked for it so I just got this set and that's fine I'm happy with that I'll, I'll get a case for it at some point That's a nice yellow actually. Like I said, I'm not. Next colour is Cadmium Yellow Light, which is a, a darker yellow. Looks like a lot. Looks like I'm going to like this colour, I think. Yeah. So still not scratchy. I've not found a scratchy one yet, but there are 120 of them. It is going to take us a while to swatch all these. And I'm using a big swatch book as well. But that is a nice colour. The colours are very vibrant. They lay down very nicely. I mean, I can press quite hard sometimes. This is a medium pressure just to get the colour down as quickly as possible for you guys to see. But um, that is a lovely colour yellow. As you can see, it's not very even um, just because I'm trying to get it on as quickly as I can. So, But I like that yellow. That is a very nice colour. Now the next one is just lemon yellow. So this should be darker than lemon yellow light. <laughs> so you've got a good selection of yellows, which is great because normally uh, most colouring uh, sets have one or two yellows and not many more. So I, I guess it's because it's a big set, which is nice. And this is a nice yellow. There we go. I quite like this. That's a nice yellow. Like I said, it's not completely evenly laid down. And you can see it better than me because obviously I've got this big bright light ahead of me. So I can't really see what you can see. But yeah, it's a nice yellow. Next one is Golden Yellow Deep. This is going to be a long video, guys, so you might want to pause it and get a drink if you haven't already got one. Ooh, that's nice. That is nice yellow. So at the, at the moment, no problems, nothing scratchy at all. All laying down beautifully. Absolutely stunning. This is a gorgeous colour. I'm like, I do like the way these go down, I'm not going to lie. Very, very nice lay, laying down, they do. And then the next one is Cadmium Yellow, so this is another darker colour. I, li I do like the fact there's a lot of, of yellows in this, this set. Oh yeah, that is nice. I can see me using this in my Jade Summer Egypt book because that's the perfect colour for the for some of the, the walls. Lots of yellow and uh, that is a great colour. That is a great colour. And the next one is Naples Yellow which again is a, another lovely looking yellow. So this has got slightly more orange in it.
Oh, these colours, yeah, they're laying down lovely at the moment. I haven't got a problem with them at all. I said if I find one that's scratchy, I will, or feels scratchy in the hand, I will let you know. Like I said, I do tend to find it tends to be pinks and purples. But uh, I might be wrong. I'm hoping that none of them will be. There we go. Yeah, I, I do like the, the variety of yellows. Um, I, 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 yeah, I'm quite taken aback by this. They're lovely. They are a lot better than I thought. Having heard what other people have said um, about them, some of them are not that complimentary. I'm actually quite liking them. So this one is a uh, brilliant yellow. So let's have a look. Ooh, that is another nice colour. Look at that. Like I said, these are lovely colours. Ooh, yeah. Very nice. I can't wait to get colouring with these, I'm not going to lie. I cannot wait to start the picture I've chosen. So, ooh. I'm really looking forward to that. Oh. These are going, these feel lovely. I said I'm doing it very quickly, and you know, but it's only to give us an idea what the colours are like. The next one is Yellow Ochre Light. So, again, it's fine, it's not scratchy. You might be able to hear it, but it doesn't feel scratchy, and to me, that's the important thing. I hate it when a pencil feels scratchy. Metallics can be quite scratchy actually, um, but pencils, certain ones I've found, but uh, yeah, it's very nice, yeah, it's a nice colour. And as you can see, you can make it as dark as you want. So I'm just going to do a bit darker there, so burnish it in a bit, there you go. So you can see how dark it goes. It'll go even darker than that as well if I wanted to press even harder. Next one is terracotta light. Now normally you just get one terracotta. So to get a terracotta light um, is quite good, I think. Oh yes. That is very nice, I think, for, for, for some sort of brickworks and maybe around fires and things like that. It's got that sort of burnt look about it. But again, you might be able to hear the pencil on the paper, but it is not scratchy. If anything, this is the scratchiest one so far, but it's not scratchy, if you know what I mean. I can... Next is cinnamon. Cinnamon is one of my favourite colours to do in hair normally, so let's see what this is like. Oh yeah, that's a nice colour. Again, still no scratchiness at all. very smooth and it could be that it's the type of paper that makes the pencil seem scratchy um, but on this sort of uh, I want to say Amazon paper because this is a book from Amazon it's not scratchy it doesn't feel scratchy at all so yes I am very much looking forward to uh, colouring with these when we get to that stage and of course before we end this video I'll show you what picture we are colouring Yeah, I like that. That's nice. Next one is a terracotta. Oh, that is a lovely colour. Yeah. And there's no scratchiness. You can hear the pencil on the paper, but there's no scratching. It feels very smooth. Like I said, I'm not burnishing them down. I'm just putting on a, a layer to, so we can just see what they're like. Very nice. Like I said, it does feel very nice. Next one is Burnt Ochre. 
yeah, yeah, this one's fine too, very smooth. Let's move this up so you can actually see it. Colour's very, very nice. Smooth layering. You know, it's laying down very nicely. It's a beautiful colour. It is a very, very nice colour. So I'm very impressed with the Castle Arts um, pencils overall. They're a good budget so far. But uh, obviously when we colour we'll find out a bit more about what we think of them. But so far I'm very impressed. The next one is Red Ochre. It should be, yep, Red Ochre. Oops, gone out of focus slightly there. Let's just pull this up. Yeah, again, no scratchiness at all. Very smooth layering, beautiful pigments. Feels lovely going down on this paper. Absolutely very nice. Again, I could get it very, very deep. I could get it a lot deeper just by putting a bit more pressure or just by layering. I'm just layering now, putting another couple of layers on and you can see how vibrant that colour is. So that's just to, to show how it goes. The next one is Orange Lake. So we're into the oranges now. These are all over the place. I think they added more colours and then the numbers are... Kind of funny. So I'm like, I do like a good orange. Again, very smooth, no scratchiness. Yeah, that's fine. Yeah, oh, there's nothing wrong with these pencils so far that I can see. And obviously I haven't tried sharpening them other than the first one. But I've been dying to use these. And uh, I really, really do like them. I've got to be honest. I've bought budget friendly before. And I mean, I know these aren't cheap, 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 but they're not expensive. You know, I think they were something like £44 for the 120 set, which is really, really reasonable in my opinion. So the next one we are doing now is Cadmium Orange. And we're on to the light flesh tones. So again, it's very smooth. This is so smooth, it's like butter. It really is. There's no scratching at all. So I'm thinking they might, they might have improved the um, makeup of the pencils, the construction, I, I don't know, but People who say that they're scratchy, I, I wonder, I'm wondering if it's a particular colour or a particular batch out the factory. I don't know. I'd love to visit a coloured pencil factory, actually. And watch them making the pencils. I think that would be fascinating. That's a lovely orange. And again, just by putting down a few more layers on the top, we get a nice even colour there. Yeah, these are nice. So this one is Flesh Deep. Now we've seen these flesh ones in the watercolour set but this obviously is the non-watercolour set. So Flesh Deep. Oh, again it's like butter. It's so soft and creamy. There is no... I still don't get these people who say these pencils are scratchy. I, I just... They're not. Well, I'm not finding them scratchy. Maybe it's me. I don't know. I'm just going to have to move and then cramp. <laughs> I, I, I really don't get the whole, this is not, these pencils are scratchy at the moment. Not one of them. Oh, I can see me using these ones. Oh yeah, these are nice. Oh, 
I might get them a good case and take them on holiday. I might leave them in this case and take them in this. Just take the, the thing shut. The next one again is Flesh, which we saw previously in the watercolour set. So it's the same colour, it's just the non-watercolour version. It's a lovely colour. Again, it's not as buttery as the others, but it's not scratchy at all. Yes, it's nice. Very, very nice. That's a good skin tone, that one, for light skin. Very, very good. And then the next one is Flesh Light, which is, again, in available in, in the watercolour set as well. Oops. And this isn't, again, not as soft and buttery, but not scratchy. It's good to see them like this, though. Nice. Next one is Venetian Red. Reds are my favourites. I'm a big red fan. I've always red has always been my favourite colour. So It's a nice red. And you can get themed sets as well, like, um, I think they mention them. I don't know if they do. You can get them in themes as well, you don't have to get them in the 120, so you can get like a, a set of ones for, um, marine, you know, sea and land and landscapes and things like that. But I've just got them all. It'd be the same pencils, it's just in the different different sets. So if you want to uh, colour like Botticelli, you can get a Botticelli uh, set or something like that. Because you get little um, instructions on how to draw and colour like a certain picture so for instance in this one it's the castle on the t on the tin so if we just layer that down so we can get a bit of what the deep version will be if we were to burnish it in and make it really layered so it would look like that that is a beautiful red looks very very red on camera the next one is scarlet red so Okay, and we'll just give it a light layer and then we'll do a dark section at the bottom so we can see if we were to keep layering it and you know how how bright it would be. Okay. I'm going to have to change the battery because the battery's dead. I'll be right back. Right, I've changed the battery. Let's get this focused back in again. You want to focus for me? There we go. And let's uh, carry on with the, uh, I think it was Scarlet we were using, was it? Yeah, Scarlet Red. Um, I've moved the camera and it's a bit too close to me now, so I have to move it that way slightly. That's it. I've got the, uh, the page right so let's just see if we were to just layer it like that how red would we get wow look at that color that is a nice color red 
Next is Vermilion. That is a oh, you can't even see it. I'm sorry. It's a nice dark red. That is so gorgeous. Again, uh, this, they're like butter. There's nothing wrong with these at all. There's no scratchiness or anything on them. Like I said, I've never used these before. This is a brand new set. You saw me open it on camera. You saw me take the film off. This is the same tin. And now so far I've had not a single problem. Other than I had to sharpen the first one. But that's not really a problem. So let's see how dark this red goes. Yeah, look at that. Again, it's a lovely shade. And the last one on this page is Cadmium Red. So we'll do that one now. Oh yeah, it's nice. These reds are lovely, I've got to admit. Oh yes, again, it's so smooth going down. Oh, it's just, it's just heavenly. They feel beautiful. I'm really looking forward to trying these into some different books to uh, to see what they're like. I'm just going to layer this up a bit so we can see the, the depth. There we are. That's quite nice. See if it'll focus in. Lovely. I'm just going to go and write out the next 24 and then we'll carry on. Okay guys, it's got a bit warm so I've put the fan on so I hope that doesn't... Um affect the sound too much it's just so hot in here at the moment so next page we've got uh, Indian red next so let's have a quick look at this one again still no scratchiness whatsoever no nope, nothing at all it's they going down beautifully still so if I find one that is scratchy of course I will let you know yeah, at the moment, no problem at all. I'm just going to layer this in so we can see how dark a colour we can get. And uh, yeah, that's nice. Next one is Chinese Orange. So let's have a look at this one. Yeah, again, still not scratchy at all. I'll fill in the rest of it later, I think. Go back over it. Otherwise, we're going to be here all day, aren't we? We're going to be here for hours. We don't want that. We want to get on to part two of the video, which will be colouring it. We'll just put this down in a few layers so we can see what the colour's like. That's quite nice, again. And we've got uh, Indian Red Light. So we're moving slightly towards a few purpley colours now. So, so yeah, still no scratchiness at all. I'm really liking these colours, I've got to be honest. Again, we'll do some layers here just so we can see how vibrant the colour is. And there you go. So next is aubergines. These are now onto some of the purples. I'm looking forward to seeing what these are like. Oh gosh, that's soft. That is so soft. Why people say these pencils are scratchy at the moment is beyond me. Like I said, there was one that felt a little bit harsher than the others but it wasn't still wasn't what I would call scratchy and I'm, I love I just gotta be honest I love the smell but I am a bit weird so I do like the smell of creosote so 
or wood preserver. Yeah. That very strong smell, it reminds me of summer. This is literally just called purple, this next one. Again, beautiful buttery. So, so nicely, they lay down so beautifully, so easily. I am very pleased with these, I'm glad I got them. Very glad I got them, I'm going to enjoy using these. So there we go. The next one is uh, Purple Violet, so moving on to a slightly pinker shades now. Like I said, I think it's the pinks I always find, that if they're going to be scratchy, it's those. But again, no, no scratchiness here. Just lovely, smooth, buttery feeling lay down. Bit of layering to show you the colour, what it will look like. Very nice. Next one is Japur Pink. So this is a very pink colour. So we'll have a look at this one. Still no, no problems with the pencils at all. Because I am doing this quite quickly because I don't want to spend forever swatching. There are 120 of them. We want to get through them as quickly as we can so we can move on to the colouring section. I'll show you what picture we're going to be doing. So we'll just lay down a bit thicker colour there. Yep, that looks so nice. I know they're not particularly evenly coloured, these squares, but it's really just to show you the what they look like. This one is cherry pink. Oops. Yeah, again, nothing wrong. Just a beautiful, smooth feeling when it goes down. Very smooth. I'm just go back over it. And again down there, a bit there. And then we'll just layer this bit over and over again. So you can see what the colour's like when it's uh, put in nice and there we go. So that's that one. The next one is Grenadine Light. So we really are on to the pink colours now. Oh my gosh, that feels even softer than some of the others. It really does. That is beautiful. Just have a look there. Yep, that's nice. Next one is rose pink. Should be, yep, yeah, rose pink. And again, lovely, lovely and soft. There's not, I don't find it, I'm not finding these pencils scratchy at all. Maybe it's this paper, I don't know, but I think they're very soft, very buttery, very nice. bit of layer down so you can just see what cherry pink is what rose pink is like and that is a very nice pink lavender light is next yep and again they just feel so soft i really cannot wait to color with these properly uh, you know i really want to stop swatching and just get color in but you know i do like to have a color chart so i can see what colour I need or would like. There we go. And then we've got lavender. So, ooh, that's nice. And again, not scratchy at all. There we go. That's a beautiful colour. Next one is Heather Purple. Oh, that's nice. Look at that. 
that is gorgeous color wow wow let's just start layer that in a bit so we can see oh look at that that gorgeous purple lake deep is next Again, doesn't feel scratchy at all. And we'll just put a bit of layer in down there, so we can see the colour. Next one is mulberry. Again, these are beautiful colours. Now they do look brighter on camera, I think, than they are in real life. But they are still very nice in real life. The next one we've got is Ultra Marine Violet. Which is this one. It's a blue colour. It's very nice. And that is the end of the first tray. So we've got two more trays to go. So I'll just move that one out of the way. And we'll put that there while we get the next one. And the next colour is Delft Blue which I believe should be this one here. Yes, it is. Great. Now we're into the blues. There's a good selection of blues and there's a ton of greens in this set. I'm not going to lie. Oh, God. It is still so beautifully buttery that I am gobsmacked by them. The quality is very nice. Let's just lay down a bit thickly so we can see the actual colour. There we go. Next one is Prussian Blue. And again, very smooth. Now that sounds scratchy, but it's really not. See, that sounds scratchy, but it doesn't particularly feel scratchy. It still feels fairly smooth. It is a bit scratchier than the others, but it's not so bad that it's unbearable. And next is Ultramarine. And it might be just something that's in the colour that makes it like that. So, Ultramarine. This is one of my favourite colours normally, so let's see what this one's like. <laughs> oh, this is gorgeous. Look at it. And again, this is back to the real soft. And I am turning the pencil so that I'm getting it. I'm using all the edge just to see if there is any scratchiness. And that one definitely isn't. Yeah, so there's only two so far that I would say were on the borderline of scratchy. With Prussian Blue being the scratchiest. But like I said, it's not unbearably so. Um, ultramarine Light. That is nice. Again, I'm going to turn the pencil so that I can feel the point all the way around just to check. In case there's something on there that might cause it to be scratchy. So it might be scratchy on one side and not on the others. But again, it's fine. That is a beautiful colour. Next is Indigo Light. I look like a very stormy colour. I want to do a stormy sky. I think. Yeah, that's nice. 
next one is what they call sky blue I always find the sky blues can be a bit dark but let's see oh now that feels nice That's nice. It's a beautiful colour. Yeah, again, this one feels slightly scratchy, but hardly anything. So there's a few of the blues. Now, the next one is Cerulean Blue Light, which is again one of the colours I really like. It's a beautiful colour. Oh, I like that colour. There we go. And the last one on this page is Cobalt Turquoise. Nice colour. This is very, very nice. Nice colour. Very nice colour. Yeah, I'd say out of all the pencils, the blues are the ones that feel the scratchiest but even that isn't what I would term to be irritatingly scratchy and as you can see that's a beautiful blue okay so that's that page done what I'm going to go and do now is I'm going to go and uh, write all the colours for the next page and then we'll come back and do it okay so I've gone ahead and written out all the colours for the next for the rest of them so it's three pages I think um, so we'll just crack on and uh, get a few swatches done so the next color is teal green light so let's see what this one's like again very nice and smooth does not feel scratchy at all it's going down very nicely as you can see And we'll just put a bit of layering in there so we can see how vivid it is. There we go. So that's that one. Next one is phthalo green. Phthalo green? Phthalo green? I don't know how to pronounce that. But uh, it's a green. There's a good lot of greens in this. I'm really pleased with how many greens there are. Okay, yep, that's fine. No, no scratchy. Very nice, very smooth. Let's have a look. Yeah, nice colour green. Uh, the next one is Thalo Green Light. Feels slightly harder, but it's still not scratchy. I'm going to have a lovely time doing um, things with greens and leaves with these pencils. There's so many of the nice colours. Look at that. There we go. The next one is Viridian. This one's gone back to being very soft. Very soft. That's almost like a very dark, that's like a pine green almost. I like that colour. Yep. And the next one is chrome green. Oh, look at that. These darker greens are good if you're doing something that's in uh, supposed to be at night time or uh, I'm half light, so it's getting dark. That shows you how that one looks. 
And then the next one is Hooker's Green. And it's another lovely dark colour. Very similar to that one, but slightly darker. Again, very smooth, very soft. Okay. The next one is Prussian Green, is it? Yeah, Prussian Green. I really do like these pencils. I'm going to say I do like them. They are very, very nice. They are very smooth, creamy. And yep, yeah, I am liking these. Yep, yeah, that's nice. Next one is Juniper Green. So, like I said, as you can see, there is a good selection of greens. Again, this one is. Slightly harder, it feels slightly harder than the others, but it's still not scratchy at all. It's going on lovely and smooth. Well, I'll be honest, I'm looking forward to using these in a book. Uh, let's just put some layering down so we can see how bright we can get it. There we go, that's very nice actually. And the next one I've got here is Castle Green deep. I had to check the name then. So, Oh, that's a nice green. Oh. oh yeah. Oops, excuse me. Stomach's making funny noises. Here we go. That's nice. These are very nice greens. I'm not going to lie, they are very nice greens. And the next one is, if I can get it out, Castle Green. Oh, look at that. These colours are absolutely stunning. I really like them. Look at how bright that green is. That is so nice. And then Castle Green Light. This should be, I hope. Yes. <laughs> oh, this is a very nice green. I like this green. And I would use these in conjunction with my Prismacolors, I think, and my Black Widows. I mean, there's so many in those sets as well. You've got millions of colours. I, I do. I like these. This one is Leaf Green Middle. That's nice. So I'm not colouring with these until I've got this video done and then we'll colour a picture together. So I'll colour a picture partly on camera like I did in the watercolour book one. That's that one. Obviously I'm not going to be able to use all 120 colours but I'll use what I can. So this is Leaf Green Light. Oh wow. Look at that. That is so pretty. Look at that. These are such lovely greens. This one is cadmium green. Again, that's another darker green for like uh, leaves in, in at night or in dusk I think when it's a bit darker. Look at that. Also might go well in one of the pictures I've chosen, in the picture I've chosen and you'll see why <laughs> when I show you it. Um, and then this one is Oxide of Chrome. Let me push that into the middle. Oh look at that colour, that's a, this 
this is so soft considering it's I thought that would be quite a scratchy one or quite a hard one but it's not it's really soft yep that's ah, nice and again that one's a good one for it as well but I think uh, the first one is the best net this is Terra Verde. I'm reading the wrong side. Ooh, it's sort of a grey green. It's very grey. Looks more green on the the camera than it does in real life, but it's a great colour. I know what that I'd use that for as well. Seeing these, I know what some of these colours I would use them for in various books. There you go, that one. Uh, a couple of greys now, so we've got cool, cool greys next. Cool grey. It's quite a nice grey actually, it's a very nice grey, it's very soft. Very soft, I like this. It's a very soft grey. And the next one is Cool Grey Deep. That feels a bit harder, but again, it's not scratchy. I think the cool grey looks darker than cool grey deep. Next one is baby's grey. It looks a slightly different kind of grey. Yeah, it's a warmer grey, I'd say, looking at it. It's nice though. Yeah, that's a warmer grey. Still no scratchiness. There's our left section. Next is Burnt Umber. It's quite a nice colour. Van Dyke Brown. Now that one feels harder, but again, it's still not scratchy. It's a lovely brown. And then the next one is Sepia. Now I have an idea of what I think Sepia should be like, so. Yeah, that's very close to it. Obviously being into photography, I have an idea what sepia toning should look like and that is pretty good. Although I'd say I would want it a bit more yellow. Ivory black, so to me that's a oxymoron, no, ivory black. Only two more on this page, one of which isn't going to show up. Uh, even the black isn't very scratchy. No, it's lovely and soft. It's a nice black, actually. Let's just see how black it goes when we give it a bit of pressure and a bit of layering. It's actually quite good, isn't it? Mm. The last one is not going to show up because it is titanium white, but uh, let's just see how it feels. Again, you can't see it, but I am just putting it down as you can hear, and it's not scratchy at all, which is great. I'm just going to turn you off while I get the next page ready. Okay, we are now going to carry on with the next one, which is Naples Yellow Light. One. that is very light you can hardly see it again it's very soft it's 
it's a bit harder than the others but not so much that I say it was scratchy so it's I don't get where people are saying these are scratchy are getting this from it's a very almost very very pale yellowy color isn't it very pale and then the next one is oops uh, cadmium orange light Again, very, very soft and buttery. Very nice. It goes quite dark if you uh, push it hard. It's a nice colour if you, you know, really layer it down. And then we've got, I'm hoping this is going to be a nice one. It looks like it might be. It's Cadmium Yellow Deep. Oh yes, look at that. That is very nice. Yeah, I like that colour. That is lovely. Uh, then we've got the green gold. Yeah, that's a nice one. Again, yes, that would go very well in the picture I'm thinking of doing possibly. one. Yellow ochre. Next. Yep. Marigold. Oh, that's a nice colour. I think in the end makes it look a bit browner than orange, but then marigolds are an orangey yellow. Um, but that is a very nice marigold type colour. Oh yeah, I like that. That is very nice. Cadmium orange is next one. That's a nice orange. Look at how beautiful that orange is. That is a stunning orange. And then the next one is grenadine, so it's a pink one. We just do that. Oh, that's nice. Oops, sorry, I'm a bit off camera there. Mayfield. Oh yeah, that's a gorgeous pink. Yeah, I like that colour. I just got to get the next tray out because that is the end of the tray. I'll be right back. Okay, so next one. We're on to the more pinks now. Opera Rose is the next one. Again, that feels a bit harder, but it's still not scratchy, or what? It's not what I would term scratchy. It's just a slightly harder pigment. But that is a nice, nice pink. And then the next one is azalea pink. Again, these ones are a bit harder. These pinks. That one feels scratchier. Uh, that does feel a bit scratchy. And I think it's just because it is quite hard. Because then these are a soft, cool pencil. But no, it's still, it's not so scratchy. It's irritated me and going through, you know, sometimes it'll go through you. But no. And this one is now a Bengal Rose Light. That's right, this is the light one, isn't it? Yeah. Oh, that one's nice. Again, it's fine. Really enjoying these pencils. I won't be a sec. So 
sorry about that. Uh, next one is a Bengal Rose. Oh my gosh, that's soft. That feels so soft. Look at it. They're very similar in colour, but oh my life. I bet when I layer it up a bit or put a bit of pressure down, it's not going to be similar. Too, too samey same. It should be similar. It's in the same colour family. And finally, we have a Bengal Rose Deep. The next one says good selection of pinks as well in this set, it's really nice. The only thing I'd say is there's not enough red, and there are a few reds, but I am a red girl, I really like reds. Mm, nice colours. Yeah, they're nice. Next one is magenta, there's a few reds now. Ooh, that's... Ooh. Ooh, I like that colour. I don't forget they're going to show up more vibrant on camera than they are in real life. But it is a very nice colour. And next one is Alzarian Crimson. a nice red. Yeah, look at that. I like that colour. Cobalt purple is next. Ooh, nice purple. Colour, not that beautiful? Next one is Purple Deep. Ooh, they have got such a beautiful selection of purples. When you first see them on the top layer, you don't think that's, there's that many, but then you get down into the bottom layer and oh, there's a load more. Well, not a load more, but there are a good, good few more. That one's nice. Mauve Deep is next. Oh yes. Oh, I like that. Yeah, I like that colour, that's very nice. Next is Purple Lake. Oh, these are beautiful and so soft. So I'll just put a bit layer on there so we can see the colour. It's almost very, it looks very blue on camera but it is more purple. Mm -hmm. The next is Cornflower Blue, that's my phone going off, I'm sure it's nothing exciting. Cornflower Blue, which looks more purple if you look at the end, the end looks quite purple in real life, it looks more blue there but it is actually a really nice blue. And then next one is mauve, or mauve, pronounce it mauve. Gosh, that is so soft. That is a nice colour. And then the next one is, hang on, Cobalt Blue Light. Oh, that's a nice blue, look at that. 
Look at how pretty that colour is. Get a bit of dark in there. And then Cobalt Blue Deep. Yeah, 95. Oh, it's warm in this room. I have to put the fan on in a minute. So I do apologise if I put it on in a second. And you can hear it, but I ain't going to need it because it's boiling. It's on and off all the time. There we go. And the next one is Cobalt Blue. It's a nice blue. There is a lovely selection of blues in this set, I'm not going to lie. There is so many, and so many greens, which is wonderful. Like I said there's a few, quite a few purples, a lot of pink, which is great if you're doing a lot of, of flowers. That's nice. Right, I'm going to stop for a minute while I turn the page and get that sorted and put the fan on, because we're on to the last page now. Okay, I do hope the, camera, the, the fan's not too loud and you can still hear me. So what's the next one? Intense Blue is next. I have high hopes for the next few blue ones because they have there's some lovely uh, names coming up. So this is Intense Blue. Oh my god, look at that blue! Isn't that gorgeous? That colour is amazing. Uh, primary Blue. Oh, these blues are amazing. The next one is a cerulean blue middle. And get it out. Get all. These blues are beautiful and so soft and creamy. I got no issues with these at all. Look at that, that is so beautiful. And then cerulean blue. Mm, nice. Yeah, I like that blue. That is gorgeous. Those blues are stunning. Next is Cobalt Turquoise Green. Again, very soft. Very nice. No, I've got no issues with this. I don't get the people, again, I'm saying it again and again, I don't get it when people say these are scratchy. I don't find them scratchy at all. That is gorgeous colour. Uh, Phalo Turquoise, uh, Turquoise, rather. Oh, that's nice. And the next one is Cypress Green, which actually has a very blue looking tip on it. But let's have a look. And is very blue. Is it me or does that look blue to you? It's a nice colour. But uh, blue. Definitely not green. Uh, Terra Verde Deep is next. Again, this is a very grey green. There we go. 
And the next is teal. So I'm just putting the recycling there. It sounds like it's all beer bottles. Oh, that's nice. Oh yes. Next is jade, jade green. Yeah, that's a nice color. Look at that color, that is gorgeous. Uh, mint green. Now that one feels a bit scratchy, but again, not so much that it would uh, it would bother me. Oh yes, it looks like mint chocolate chip ice cream, doesn't it? Next is mint green light, which I am expecting to look even more like mint chocolate chip ice cream. <laughs> oh yes, look at that. Gorgeous. Not a lot of difference in the colour, but they're still very nice. Emerald green now. Let's see how green this is because it's very light on the tip. To me, that's not emerald. But, oh, it's a nice green now. It's a very nice green. Oh, yeah, that is nice. Next one is permanent green. Oh, that's a nice green, isn't it? That is a lovely green. I like that colour. Uh, the next one is leaf green. If you remember, we had leaf green light and leaf green dark. This is just leaf green or deep as they call it here and oh, that's a nice that is another nice green and next one is cadmium green uh, pale again this one feels harder and so slightly scratchy this is the scratchiest one so far but again it's not it's not enough to bother me you know, it's just you notice it because the rest of them are so creamy. That's quite a nice colour as well. Next one is Sap Green and we are coming up to the last column now. We've nearly done all 120. That's a good green as well for various things. Yep. That is a good green. Burnt Sienna. Well, that is soft. That is soft as anything. That is amazingly soft. And that is a nice colour as well. That next one is Brown Ochre. Oh, that's a nice brown. We think as browns as being really dull and boring, but it's not so. That's nice. Uh, raw umber. Oh yeah, I like that. Yep, that's a good one too. Uh, walnut brown. Again, 
again this one feels slightly scratchier than the rest but only just for a second when I first use it so maybe there's just something on the tips and then it's a good brown Okay, and then charcoal grey. So we're on to the last three now, which are all greys. Again, beautifully soft. Nice. Payne's grey is next. Oh, tired. We've been doing this for a while now. This is going to be one long video, I'm afraid, kids. Payne's Grey. It's a nice one actually. And the final one, if I can get it out, is called Warm Grey Light. Oh, yeah, it's a very light grey but it's a quite a nice colour. go so you can, it's not very very visible at all but it is it does it is there so those are all 120 colors from the castle art soft core set I have enjoyed swatching these very very much So as I always say the proof of the pencil is in the colouring so as always because we like to give everybody an even playing field we test them in the colouring heaven magazine books because the paper seems to be pretty consistent they have changed it um, but it's still pretty good we're going to do one from the costume collection because I haven't coloured in this one yet and I really want to and I have picked and now I've lost the tag um, this picture from the 1960s so this is late 60s um the furniture is very 60s late 60s and early 70s so this is what i was saying about the greens and the oranges they used a lot of that in the 60s and and again in the 70s but the only 70s one we've got is the uh saturday night fever one so we're going to do this i've got a basic um idea of what sort of colors i'm going to use yet not a hundred percent but I think I do kind of know. So I will have a look at that and that will be done in the second video. So my overall first impression of the Castle Arts are, I like them, they're very soft and creamy. They go down very smoothly, they're very vibrant. Like I said, a lot of people have said that they're scratchy and I don't see that, I don't feel that. There's the odd one or two that felt a little bit scratchy, but no not really they're all i thought i thought they were very very nice pencils very very vibrant very smooth to go on they feel very nice in the hand and i really like them so under the first impression of what, what i think of swatching them would i recommend them yes but like i say the proof is in the coloring um so that's the end of part one of this two-part episode on the Castle Art pencils. I'm going to go away now, um, edit this together, and then I'll start filming part two fairly shortly and we'll start colouring the book. I can't wait to get started colouring that book. I really can't. So I'll see you all in the next video. Leave me a comment down below if you've enjoyed this. Do you have these pencils? And if so, what do you think of them? Um, if you've enjoyed it give it a thumbs up and don't forget to share it with your friends and subscribe if you're not a subscriber and if you are a subscriber hit the notification bell so you're notified as and when I'll put up new videos which is most days see you later bye